In today's video, we're talking all about how you can become an interior designer, even if you don't have a degree and even if you don't have any work experience. I'm Kate Hatherall and this is the Interior Designers Hub. So in the UK, there is actually no formal requirement for you to have any qualifications to become an interior designer. Now, whilst that's all well and good, because of course, if you're a really creative person and you've got some experience, then, well, perhaps you could argue that a, a qualification isn't necessary. But I always feel as though you should set the foundation and that you should do at least an initial amount of studying just so that you've covered all of the bases and that you're making the best design decisions available. But that doesn't mean that you have to go out and do a full blown degree to achieve that. There are plenty of courses around that you can take, you can study online. And the great thing about being able to study online and taking a flexible course is that you can continue to earn while you learn. So there's no reason to rush out and give up your day job. It's perfectly possible for you to continue working and to study in the evenings and on weekends. Not only can you learn while you earn, you can also earn while you learn. And what I mean by that is many of our diploma students find once they're a couple of months into their studies that they begin getting inquiries from clients about them working with them. Now, of course, you have to balance your time out, but you can always squeeze in some time to take on your first client and to begin getting an initial bit of money in whilst you're also completing your studies. People sometimes see studying as an all or nothing thing, that you have to give up your job and suddenly start studying or suddenly start your new career. But it doesn't have to be like that. You can study whilst you're still bringing money in and you can bring in money whilst you're still studying and working. So if you don't have any experience, that can cause problems too, mostly because you don't have a portfolio and any potential clients are going to want to see the work that you've created. But there are some ways around this. For example, you can use some of the work in your studies to use in your portfolio. So most interior design courses give you exercises to do, such as creating colour palettes, creating mood boards, and even doing technical drawings. And all of these things are perfectly acceptable to use in a portfolio. So as you're studying, make sure that you're doing your best work and that you're getting all of the feedback from your tutor and keeping that information so that you can use it on your social media and as part of your portfolio. Another great way to add to your portfolio is to create your own graphics. So you can create some amazing floor plans and elevations and make them beautifully rendered. And they can really show your design style, even if you've not yet had a client to try it out on. In addition to mood boards and technical drawings, you can also use photography of things that you've styled or decorated yourself. So using images of your own home is a perfectly acceptable thing to do when you're beginning to build a portfolio. After all, they're your designs, so why not show them off? Now, sometimes before a new designer wants to actually step out there in the world and start designing for clients, they want to take an interim step, something that eases them into it without so much fear and anxiety coming up. And so designing for friends and family can be a good way to get your first taste of what it's like to design for a client. Now, of course, designing for friends and family can be fraught with other difficulties to do with family politics. So make sure you choose your friend or family clients carefully. But being able to go through the whole design process with somebody that you know and trust can be really great for building your confidence. And of course, you'll be able to use the before and after photos with their agreement to add to your portfolio. If you've always fancied becoming an interior designer, why not come and join us for our free five day challenge where we teach you how to become an interior designer in just five days. We take you through the design process from start to finish so that you can see the steps that an interior designer takes when they're designing a room professionally. The challenge is completely free. It's being hosted within a private Facebook group and you get daily feedback and daily tutorials from me in that group. I do hope that you're going to join us. Please look below for the link to sign up for the challenge and then come and join us in the Facebook group. I'll see you over there.